Is it possible, uh, Tony, that um, this individual is not hearing the message? That yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 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 uh, it's, it's probably very, very likely. It, the individual can't actually hear this message. <laughs> Obviously because the individual sees everything through a veil and hears everything through a veil called being separate. So the individual will hear this as a, me a message in which they would turn into something that they can get hold of and use. Mm -hmm. I mean, actually, the other night, like there were people here listening, and then another friend of ours went outside in the bar and was talking to these people who were here. I think they come on the Friday and the Saturday. And they actually said to our friend what they actually said, what they thought I was saying, two or three definite clear statements, which were completely the opposite of what I was actually saying. That was me, wasn't it, Tony? Shut up. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell anybody. Yeah. But, but the mind will, the mind is absolutely um, frightened of this, it doesn't want to hear this message, because the mind lives in story, so the mind will turn everything that's being said around the other world. Because in a sense, understanding the message even, or hearing it really clearly, is still only something that happens to an individual. But really, you know, this hasn't got anything much to do with the actual logic or the words or, or <coughs> this message. It's, this is absolutely about something that's energetic that's happening here. It's not about understanding something. The, the, this talking is just an excuse for something else. Is it usual to feel totally exasperated? Sorry? Is it usual to feel totally exasperated? It can happen, yes. Exasperation does arise. <laughs> Exasperation is what is happening. Is it a good sign? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think you for this lady. <laughs> well, I, I, actually, John, I really know that you're making very good progress. Could you say something about your energy? <laughs> Sorry, could you could you say a little, a little bit more about when you say energy? Well, for me, the word energy is the same as the word being. All there is is energy. Right. Um, that's the end of it. And within energy arises that which thinks that all there is isn't energy. It thinks it's separate from energy. That's energy. So energy arises as a part of itself looking for itself. And that energy in turn appears to take form. Sorry? Does the energy appear to take form? Oh, no, this is energy in yeah, form. In yeah. form. Yeah. <coughs> If the individual can't hear this, no. what hears it? What, is it? what, what does hear it? Like if you're saying nothing individual. hears it. So this is nothing speaking to nothing. This is just a bit of fun, really. Sorry? Is this just a bit of fun, then? Like, I mean, well, it is what it is. If it's a bit of fun, it's a bit of fun. But if the individual can't hear it, then... Something, something resonates. There's an energetic here that's beyond the idea of hearing this message. <coughs> is it knowledge? Is it no. Well, mm. oh, it's absolutely not knowledge. Knowledge is not what this is. Knowledge is just an idea that comes out of traditional teaching, that somewhere you can you know, gain knowledge about <coughs> or understand. It's a very male idea, that somehow you can learn it after 20 years of reading 650 different books all written in Sanskrit, that somebody you're going to get to a place called knowledge. Where you're actually going to get to is a very rich man sitting on a big fat cane <laughs> looking at the eye of an eagle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so this is absolutely not about knowledge, it's about energy. It's indescribable. The, the, the state of being an apparent separate individual is a contracted, tight state. From what and what often happens if contraction meets boundlessness is that the contraction can suddenly expand into boundlessness. But nobody can do it. That's the big rock, isn't it? That's the big what? Rock. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there is no state that's more receptive of it than others. Like that, we have that great perception that if you're, if you're in a better, you know, spiritual state that you're more receptive. There is no such that's, thing. I know there isn't, no. but we have that very huge perception, and that's what's been thought always. Yeah. 
But, but for me, uh, being in a spiritual state is being in a very good, accepting, holy, humble state. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. absolute bullshit. Oh. Oh, no, no, it's the mind creating yeah. ideas about how, what perfection should look like, which mm. is very holy and beautiful. But in a meditative state, that type of state, like <laughs> yeah. that, which is more receptive. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sitting here with my eyes closed trying not to think and I'm no more accepting. No, well, you're right, you're miles away, girl. I, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> not that necessarily, but also, no, that seems so. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually, if you're sitting there with your eyes closed trying not to think, that's what's happening. Yeah. yeah. It's absolutely being. It's absolute, perfect, whole, completeness. John, you asked me about here. judgment. You said um, the first half there was something about judgment I can't exactly remember the words you said, but let's say pain arises in the body, or tooth or something like that, right? But that's what's happening, pain. Yeah. Um, judgment will arise to do something about yeah, that. So absolutely. That, so judgments do arise. That's what happens. Based, based on some previous experience? Of it could be, but that's what's happening, yes. But that previous experience has been held somewhere. The, judgment the, mem the memory of that previous experience is what happens. It's not the previous experience, but the memory that I've, last week I took an aspirin and it worked is what is happening. And then walking over to the cabinet and ticking out is what is happening, and opening the bottle is what is happening. But a judgment happens. Oh, judgment is life. Yeah. Judgment also happens. So, is there anything, Tony, that assists in letting the body lose some of that contraction? <coughs> Well, there isn't any body, there isn't any body, so there isn't anything okay. that can do that. But that does happen. Relaxation happens, and that or, or, or being tight up also happens. Yeah. Being relaxed can happen. It doesn't necessarily mean that that, that bring, would would bring about liberation, because liberation hasn't got anything to do with what's yeah. happening. Yeah. Yes, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Another one down the drain. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm laughing. I should be crying. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree with you. <laughs> and that's what would be happening. Um, would you call liberation a state of being? Just no, it's not a state. For me, the word state is something that happens within the story. A state of something like peace or stillness or anger is something that comes and goes in the story. So it's like there's just one state in another Well, you can call it a state. I wouldn't. All there is is being. So there's just being. There is only being. It's the one constant in which everything else comes and goes. <coughs> <laughs> but it doesn't stay. Nothing stays and nothing goes. Being is that which has never come and never gone away. I really like the concept of the fact that I was important. Yes, I quite like that job. <laughs> 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 That's one of the bright moments of the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, 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 no. and, and, and I don't die. Yeah. That's always um, had a great um, yeah. appeal. I don't care for the pressing because I don't really know what it means. No, it's but it, it swings a bell. Yeah, it rings a bell. And therefore, I'd like to know... There is no such thing as a person. The idea of a person arises very soon after birth and is called self-consciousness. It only happens to human beings. Mm. But it's a dream. It's a dream idea that is added on to the reality. Uh, but what also comes with it is the idea that you are definitely a person who has 75 years to live, or a period of time in which you will live as a real person and then you will die. <coughs> At the point of death, it suddenly realised that all of that is a social illusion, and nobody was born and nobody dies, because there is no body. It would be very good to realise that as of before. Yeah, yeah, that's what most people are after. Well, they don't realise that. Mm. Mm. So in a sense, the whole notion of being whatever, being a man, oh. being a, a 
owner of a nightclub or anything. It's just it's just a conception. Well, the, what what happened?